My name is Roy Cox. I am a promotional and commercial photographer. I was a uh, editor. I was also a videographer and then a cinematographer. One of the biggest reasons that I made a switch into still photography was it was something different more every day. And um, it was something I could do alone, you know, especially in the beginning. I didn't have to rely on other people for uh, my success. And it was something that I could do that didn't require as many other subcontractors. Like I didn't have to bring in sound people. I didn't have to depend on all these other people to make my money. And it was something that I could do with a minimal investment, even though it was a lot more 12 years ago than it is today. I think the biggest thing about my style that people notice is it almost has a 3D quality to the lighting where there's a couple different layers of lighting going on. And again, that comes from more of a cinema style where I'm thinking about more than just a person, but what's behind them, what's behind that, what's next to them. We teach here to turn that camera around and have the picture be done. business about six or seven years ago made a drastic change and what happened was the average person could get into this business for a few thousand dollars whereas when I got into this business it was twenty thousand dollars because you were buying processing stuff for film you were buying scanners for negatives you were you know if you wanted a laptop you were talking about five six thousand dollars for a good Mac laptop or say and that's it, even if you could afford one um, my first digital camera was five and a half megapixels and it was five grand for the body. And that's not something the average person is going to do. So um, really, if somebody wanted a pro level photo that had that magazine sharpness, they knew they were going to have to go and pay somebody who was a, a pro who had made the investment in the gear to take that kind of shot. What's happening, we saw about, well, five to six years ago, the equipment the margin dropped where now interns are coming in here with 20 megapixel cameras so pretty much the line uh, between pros and amateurs we're no longer separated by gear anymore we all have the same equipment one thing they're not seeing is people aren't that's not what they're buying they're buying you they're buying me you know if you are new coming into this business you do not want to jump into it. You want to make sure that you are practicing and practicing and building up your portfolio because you only have one shot to come out to the public. And you can't trickle out there. You have to really hit people over the head nowadays with a sledgehammer. adapt every single day. I remember three years ago I started making the switch to this whole social media barrage that went on, you know. Uh, interns are coming in and by the way I learn as much from you guys, you know, uh, as they do from me, as you guys do from me because I'll have an intern will come in and be like, um, oh hey I'm gonna put this, you mind if I take a shot for Instagram? And I'm like, what the hell is Instagram? You know, and then I'm like, okay, Give me Instagram, I need to know what that is because now I just saw that uh, my makeup artist has 100,000 followers and she doesn't pay a cent for this? I used to advertise on Google um, and this business isn't the kind of business where you put a billboard up. You know, it's, it's word of mouth. I spend probably 60% of my work day uh, advertising through these different social media kind of networks than I do standard ads. I can't remember the last time that I've paid for Google. You know, keeping as current as we possibly can, I think helps us stay where we are. And now you guys got it great because this stuff is cheap and it's potent, but at the same time, you have it harder than I did when I started because everyone out there knows about it. 
So now people are allowed, it allows some photographers to look bigger than they really are, you know? And somebody who's better at marketing, and here's a good tip for you, you could be slightly better at marketing than you are at photography and do better than the guy who's a better photographer nowadays because it's all image. It's all the, the, the circus you put on, the show you put on. And that's why you see us do the things we do in here, by the way. It's a show. This is a show. They pay us and we give them this experience, you know, so.